person, just a different, I don't know, I just feel a little different in terms of leadership. You know, and getting in out of the huddle, taking command and understanding the protection, understanding the offense. And, and then grasping that and putting it all together, you know, and I'm just trying to become the best I could be. You know, like every day, like I used to tell you guys for the past whatever, two years, every day I'm trying to get better. And I'm going to find a way and I'm going to get better. So. I remember at the end of last year, you talked about those certain passes, good catch passes. You had never had to throw before. And you were saying, I'm going to go and get my brother in line, have him chase me, and things like that. Mm -hmm. How much work did you do on your own, away from the Raiders, football wise, in the offseason? Uh, just a lot, just uh, staying loaded. Uh, a lot of my the problem I had uh, that I recall at San Diego was that I didn't stay loaded on my back foot, so the people were at my feet. So I, I did a lot of drills with, uh, I had a quarterback coach uh, standing there with like a broomstick and you know, and I'll press into the pass and uh, have them hit me. And, uh, it just helped me kind of stay in the rhythm of hitting a defensive uh, lineman's foot or offensive lineman's foot. You know, you can't really simulate a game, but uh, do the best you can. Just try to simulate it. Have they, have they encouraged you to still be the Terrell Pryor, the get out and run guy when things are when things break yeah, down? Or they really want you no, to? Absolutely. No, absolutely. You can't you can't really uh, change you know with your God given ability you know uh, what's what's very disruptive and things that uh, defenses uh, scares defenses is that you can run you know so along with that is if you can stay in the pocket and throw the ball you know where, you know you're not always scrambling around you can set your feet be balanced and deliver a ball but also when you take that one two uh, progression away just go up and get five six yards you know maybe ten or whatever slide get down and go and move the chain. Do you feel like you're more confident in the timing of when you want to take off and run that you're making all the right reads and then when you know the exact right time to get out of there? Are you I, just think, I just think it's going to be, it's a definitely a, uh, a, a decision thing, you know, it has to be decisive, you know, um, like I said, like one, two or three, you know, if the progressions, I mean, I can't really play it out, you know, it's because right. you're dropping back and you got, you got one or two, you may only get to one or two and then maybe the line starts collapsing and then you see a hole, so just go. So taking a negative play. When you look at what happened with Colin last year and Russell Wilson up in Seattle, do you think that that validated the type of quarterback that you are that can be successful in this league? I mean, those guys, I mean, they've been doing the same thing. You know, I've been doing the same. I did that in college. Right. You know, it's not, it's nothing different. You know, the but guys I mean, to, that, to, do you think that the success that they had validated in, in other people's minds that, that you can, that that kind of quarterback can compete in the NFL and be successful? Uh, of course it can. I mean, I remember watching Steve Young. I mean, he was running around a lot when he was younger, you know, and he finally slowed down to him, and uh, he started playing great, you know. And, I mean, he was playing great at first anyway, but I'm saying, like, that's, he was moving around too, I mean, as I recall from watching him and watching film on him. So I think, you know, it's at the end of the day, you have to be able to sit back there and be, deliver accurate ball. I mean, at the end of the day. And if you can't, you, uh, it's, gonna, it's not going to really work out if you're just moving around and running around. So. How would you assess your first couple of weeks, the first week or so? I feel, I feel phenomenal. You know, obviously there's things uh, that I need to get better at, and no one's perfect. You got to get better at something. You know, so I'm just taking one day at a time, and it's understanding uh, what I want to go into each day, what I want to get better at. And, uh, hopefully, I get better at that. Uh, that certain. Mechanic. The management of the offense, you talked about that earlier, the leadership, yeah. how much more comfortable are you in that role? Like, uh, so, I remember talking to you, yeah. you were like, the clock was going, you were, there was one play you were yeah. on the ground, and, yeah. and just all those things. How much are you more embracing that kind of just a, I think a thousand more percent I got better just because, uh, just a simple fact, of the, you know, the coach I have now, I believe that he's, he's very... Uh, he challenges us in the play in the playbook. Challenges us, Coach Olson. He challenges us. I'm sorry about that. Challenges us in the playbook. Challenges us to know the protections. And uh, the main thing was just learning the protections and understand who who's blocking and who may come free. And if they do, you have to throw the ball, get the ball out. You know. And once you understand that, I mean, uh, just from talking to Tyler and and McGloin, you know, uh, once you understand that. Um, Things are your life so much easier. Did you do much checking on the protections in that San Diego game, or did you pretty much just go with what? Nah, was I just called? went with the flow because I didn't really know that much. You know, I didn't. I mean, I knew it, but at the end of the day, it comes with reps, repetitions. Right. You have to rep it. You know, you can go out there and uh, you know do it off the paper all you want and say, hey, this is the call just by looking at paper. But when people are flying around, and, you know, the clock's moving on the shot clock. You know, you got to get going. So 
that's pretty much what's going on to go. So look what's saying that not only are you a better quarterback than you were last year, but you're even a better quarterback than you were four or five weeks uh, yeah. ago. Do you feel like there's oh, yeah. that real quantum uh, leap there that abso absolutely. you just sees like a whole different back? Absolutely, and uh, you know that's that's a. Uh, that's with them guys, you know, working on, working with me, uh, believing in me. Uh, I mean, from day one, Flip believing in me and knew, you know, told me what I had to get better at, and you know, and it was a process. You know, it was hard for me, and I'm, you know, still, I'm, I'm not there yet. I'm still getting better every day, and uh, you know, I believe I'm getting close to getting where I want to be, and that's something that could very lead a team someday. But uh, you know, I'm not, not by any means, I'm not there, but I'm getting, making a big progress. You know, if you can make progress, you know, you have a chance. You know, it's you just don't want to go downwards. You don't want to not go up. I mean, when we were talking to Olsen when we first met him, and, and you were so, you know, you brought up, and he said, there's, there's got to be some packages that, whether he's our starter or not, a starter, there's got to be packages we come up with to get him on the field, take advantage of the athleticism. Are you more comfortable with being that kind of guy? I know you want to be the quarterback and everything, but are you comfortable? Oh, I mean, packages at the end of the day, the packages we're talking about, um, it has a lot to do with our offense. You know, we're still running, going down the field with the ball. We're still doing timing routes, and it's, a, it's just a package that can, you know, it's whatever, just to get me on the field and run the same plays that Matt's, Matt Flynn's uh, running, the same plays McGloin and Tyler. It's the same stuff. It's just me, pistol stuff, and stuff like that. You know. Thanks, Thanks guys. Appreciate